Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill Creative team, and I am going to show you something today that I initially did not love. And then I got my hands on it and I played with it and I ended up just loving it. I wonder if you've had that same experience. Um, sometimes you just need to be creative with something and gain some inspiration and then it becomes one of your favorite things. So my thing that I'm showing you today is the Nothing's Better Than Bundle. It includes the Nothing's Better Than Stamp Set and the Love You More Than Dies. So fun. There's so many possibilities with this bundle which I love, and I wanna show you some projects that I've created using this bundle. I made this cute little box. You're just like chocolate, you make everything better. And you can put some little Dove chocolates inside, they fit just perfectly in one of our little boxes. So fun, I really loved using our in colors from this year. Um, I used that six by six designer series paper of the in color stack for each of these projects I'm gonna show you, and I thought the colors worked great with this suite. So that one was fun. I like this one too because adulting is hard. Coffee. So cute. This one might be my favorite because it looks like the cookie monster. Today's plan, consume cookies and be awesome. So this die set comes with each of these cute little scripty things. And then the stamp set has multiple um, sayings you can come up with. Kind of cute little quippy things. It also is a two-step stamping st stamp set where you can do the inside and the outside of things to give it lots of dimension. It's really fun and it's photopolymer so it makes it really easy. I'm gonna show you how to make this card today. I'm gonna show you some little techniques to make your cocktails look multiple colored and then a cute, an easy little technique to make sure that your sayings line up the way you want them to. So let's get started. I'm gonna first start by adhering my designer series paper to my card base. These, um, this designer series paper I'm using is Magenta Madness. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of Bumblebee cardstock. I really like these two colors together. I thought they were really cute. So I'm just gonna put that on with some of my Stampin' Seal Plus. And then I'm going to adhere it to my thick basic white card base. I really like to use the thick basic white when I'm using just a regular white card base. It makes your card stand up a little bit longer. So that's gonna be the base of our card. Let me show you the cute die. This one says cocktails. It's hard to see, but I already ran it through my big shot in a piece of bumblebee card stock and got that. I'm gonna pop it out. Now you wanna pay really close attention to make sure that you save the dot of the eye. That is going to be um, important that you've got that. So I'm just going to use my little take your pick tool and pop this out. Um, our dies just are so easy to use. They come out really, really easy, especially when they're detailed. You want to make sure that it's not, you don't have to run it back and forward. It's just really easy. Our stamping cut and emboss machine and our dies make it really seamless. So I'm going to pop out all the middles because I want them to show through on the white, but I'm going to save my little eye dot. And then I'm going to adhere this right onto my card base right now. Now a little, a couple tips of things that I like. I really like to use our Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. Um, we call this green glue in our office, but just because the lid is green. <laughs> but I really like this one for these um, little sayings that are cut out. Because I can just put a few dots on the back throughout, just like that. And then I have just a minute before it fully adheres to put it down and get it where I want it on my project. So I've got that down. Hold it for just a second and it will adhere right to the thing. And then I'm gonna take my little eye. Now some people like to use tweezers. I just use my fingers. Put a teeny little bit of adhesive on there. And then I'm gonna stick that down to the top of my eye. If you don't have that, it doesn't read cocktails as well. So make sure you save your little dot for your eye. Just like that. Okay, and then on my original sample here, I have the today is a and kind of day stamps on the other sides. Now, if you're an amazing stamper, you could stamp those individually. 
I sometimes am not an amazing stamper. So my stamps are very clean. I'm going to lay them right where I want them on my card base. Today is a cocktails kind of day. And then I'm going to take a larger D block, larger than you think you need really, because you want to be able to grab both of those stamps at the same time. Just like that. And then I'm going to stick my stamp down or my block down and I'm going to grab them. So they're right in the spot that I want them. So when I go to stamp them, they're going to be straight and right in the location that I want them. So I'm going to ink this up with Magenta Madness. And I'm going to put it down right on my card base. Today is a cocktails kind of day. Just like that. Perfect. So we're moving on now to our cocktails. I'm going to stamp this in Memento. I want two cocktails. It's that kind of a day. I'm going to stamp it twice, just on a piece of basic white cardstock, a little scrap. Just like that. So I get my outline. And like I said, this is a two-step stamping stamp set. So you have the little inside of each of these things. I have the umbrella and the little lemon or lime wedge and then the inside of the cute little cocktail. But I kind of wanted a little more color to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up first in my lighter color, my bumblebee. Fully ink the stamp. And then I'm going to take my magenta madness and I'm going to just ink it part way. Just like that. So there's kind of two tones on my stamp, if you can see that. And then I'm going to just put it on the inside of my little cocktail. Like that. So fun. You do have to clean it in between every time, so I'm going to wipe that off on my chamois. And I'm going to stamp it one more time. Ink it up fully in the bumblebee. And then dip it in the magenta. And put it right in the middle. Just like that. Then I'm going to fill in with a lemon on the side. And I'm going to make my little umbrella magenta. Give it a little color. Now you don't have to stamp these perfect on the inside. They fit pretty well though. So that's what those are going to look like. And then I'm going to take this die and cut out my cocktails, which I've already done ahead of time. And you've got your two little cute cocktails. You can add right there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adhere our cocktails using Stampin' Dimensionals. Just put two little Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of each of those. And add them to our card base. A little ski wampus. Because it's just that kind of a day. Just like that. And then I'm also going to add some little enamel dots in the in colors as well. I'm using Bumblebee and Magenta Madness again just to give it a little bit of blingy. Make it feel like a party. And there you go. Such a fun bundle. I just have loved. Let me show you these projects again. Here's the one we just finished with our two-tone cocktails. This bundle covers everything. You've got cocktails, chocolate, cookies and coffee. Love it. So if you're looking for a fun new bundle that you just have to have, check out the Nothing's Better Than bundle from our annual catalog. It covers all the bases and I think you're going to love it. If you do want to order that bundle, make sure to visit us at stampingjill.com so you can do it with us. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch Weekly Wednesday.